in this video, I decided to give a shot of letting my dog choose the food that she wanted to eat and in the order that she wanted to eat it instead of mixing everything in the bowl. So here we go. And Zoe went for the beef heart first, which surprised me because I was for sure she was going to go for the duck feet. That's ground quail that she's chomping on now. She's given the golden paste a try and then back to the duck feet. So the golden paste is green because I add spirulina and chlorella to it. And now she's, you know, getting down on her duck feet. The reason why I decided to do this is because I've seen other people do it and I was just kind of curious to know what order she'd um, eat her feet in, eat her feet in, eat her food in. And um, the reason why people are doing this is not only does it help with a dog that's a picky eater and figuring out what your dog will eat, but people have told me that when you add everything to a bowl, all the scents are very overwhelming to a dog. And so it's better for them to um, split everything out this way. So as you can see, you know, she finished off the golden paste, which was a surprise for me. I did not think she would go for that. Um, and now she's eating the freeze dried salmon. It's a treat. And so I put freeze dried salmon along with salmon oil as her source of omega-3 fatty acids. I added the green beans, um, they're canned green beans with no salt added, just out of curiosity. What's next to the green beans is fermented seeds. And with the egg, I decided to cook the egg because since I was laying the egg on a flat surface, I thought a raw egg would run over the side. So I just cooked it lightly. And believe it or not, the nutrient values in eggs don't change that much between raw and cooked. So you could feed your dog eggs either way and know that they're getting um, a ton of really great nutrients. So I was impressed with how quickly she finished off her plate. Um, raw goat's milk, I get it from a local farm. She loves it. All of my dogs are big fans of raw goat's milk. I'm curious to know um, if she saved the milk for last because of the distance it was from where she started or if this was just a personal choice. Who knows? Um, and yeah, now she's finishing it up. She's checking out those seeds. And I was surprised. I did not think she would eat the seeds. I don't think they're her favorite, but you know, she went ahead and finished them off. And the fermented fish stock is still sitting there. And she eventually does go for it, but it takes her a little bit. It's like she needs to finish every other option and then she goes for the fermented fish stock. And I kind of wondered if she did this because she kind of already had her omega-3 fatty acids and the uh, um, fermented fish stock, even though it has many more benefits than just the omega-3s, I wonder if, you know, she didn't really need it because I know she smelled it because I could smell it. But um, again, I don't know if it's because um, of the, you know, she knows that she already has that in her diet or if it's just because of the distance from everything else and she's going to clean off the tray and then finish up the fermented fish stock. Who knows? But so I did this just out of plain curiosity. I thought it was kind of neat and fun to do. Um, this is our second video because the first one I did a really crappy job of um, filming it. So hopefully this is a little more clear for everybody. But yeah, there you go. I thought it was kind of cool just watching her do this, but I don't think I'll ever do it again. So the whole point of doing stuff like that is it really helps raw feeders figure out what their dogs will eat and what their dogs won't eat, especially if you have a picky dog or a dog who is sick. A lot of people are starting to recommend that we allow our dogs to kind of quote unquote choose their own medicine. Um, when I first recorded the video, I also added powdered supplements. So mushrooms and um, um, glandular supplements for females, both from Mer Mercola Healthy Pets. And I was surprised to see her lick up the powder supplements. I actually always thought that our dogs would avoid them. But all in all, it was an interesting lesson. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.